On July 29, 2010, almost exactly 18 months ago, this subcommittee held an oversight hearing on the mismanagement of contracts at Arlington National Cemetery, the nation's most revered and sacred burial ground for veterans and their families. At the hearing, we reviewed the findings of a June 2010 report by the Army Inspector General, which found hundreds of mistakes associated with graves and gross mismanagement by the cemetery's leadership. The subcommittee also investigated how the mismanagement of contracts to implement a new automated system to manage burials contributed to those mistakes. The subcommittee found that the problems with graves was more extensive than previously acknowledged and that thousands of graves were potentially at risk of being unmarked, improperly marked, or mislabeled on the cemetery's maps. The subcommittee's investigation also found that officials at the cemetery and at the Army failed to conduct basic oversight. For example, Arlington's former leadership approved projects to automate and digitize bur burial records, which resulted in millions of dollars in contracts over a decade without producing one usable product. In addition, there had been no review or audit by the, of the cemetery for over a decade prior to the Inspector General's 2010 review. In September 2010, as a result of the investigation of this committee, I introduced legislation to address those failures. The bill ultimately acquired 12 co-sponsors, passed the Senate, and was signed into law in December of 2010. The law requires two separate reports by the Secretary of the Army. The first provision required the Secretary to verify the identity, location, and burial records for gravesite in Arlington National Cemetery and present plans to remedy any errors found in the review. This report was submitted on December 22, 2011. The second provision requires the Secretary of the Army to sub submit an annual report for the next three years on execution of the Secretary's June 2010 directive which changed the structure and authority of operations at Arlington National Cemetery. This first annual report was in fact submitted September 2011. The law also required the Comptroller General to present a report to Congress on the management and oversight of contracts at Arlington National Cemetery, including a review of the feasibility and advisability of transferring to or sharing jurisdiction of Army National Cemeteries with the Department of Veterans Affairs. This report was released in two parts on December 15, 2011. The finding of these reports and the way forward from here are the subject of today's hearing. Arlington must be put on a course that will ensure no tragedy like the one we saw unfold in 2010 is ever again reported to veterans and their families. I'm not going to stop until whoever it is that's running Arlington Cemetery can say, we now have a handle on every single grave site, and we're not there yet. We've made a lot of progress in 18 months. I think it's terrific that you're utilizing um, the great skill set and core competencies of the Veterans Administration when it comes to running cemeteries. I visited one of those cemeteries in Missouri because I wanted to compare and contrast what I had seen at Arlington at the height of the, this mess compared to what is ongoing at a, at a cemetery. I went to the cemetery in Springfield, Missouri, and I was very impressed uh, at what they had done there in regards to tracking and maintaining. In fact, one of the things I thought was terrific is if the cemetery was, the office was closed, there was actually a kiosk outside the building where a visitor could pull up with their name exactly where they needed to go in the cemetery to visit their loved one uh, without having to involve any personnel of the cemetery in that question or that answer. The Army was more upset than anyone else about the problems at Arlington. Um, all of us can tisk tisk and bemoan uh, the incompetence that had occurred there, but I don't think anybody felt it more acutely than the Army. And so I think the Army responded in a way that reflects the dedication they have to the fallen. And I am uh, impressed that the amount of progress that has been made is substantial and significant. And I have said from the beginning that the oversight of this committee would not end until um, people sat in front of, of, of this dais and said, I think the challenges have been met 
and I think all the processes and procedures are in place, and I see no problems that need to be addressed by additional oversight. Um, no one said that today, so we will have another hearing. We'll continue to monitor the situation, and thank you for all the good progress that's been made.